Hi there, Lindsay here, the Frugal Crafter. I thought I would get one more re review video in for World Watercolor Month, and this time I want to review the Ohuhu Aqua Natural Brush Markers. And I know there are so many brush markers out right now, but um, there's something really interesting about these that I thought they warranted a mention. Um, so first thing I want to mention is that I'm going to link to these down below. These are the newest version of their real brush markers from Ohuhu, um, and these are water-based, not alcohol brush markers. So I want to clarify that. And also they have a set of um, dual tip brush markers that are like, kind of like your Tombows. You know, they've got a bullet tip on one end and they got a brush on the other, like a felt tip brush. These are uh, single ended and they're like a real brush pen. And um, the reason I wanted to mention these, or I wanted to, to review these because it didn't mention this on the listing. And I didn't know until I actually got these in my hands and started using them is that they're actually, um, they're actually, well, I don't want to say refillable because they don't say refillable on their website or on Amazon, but you can unscrew the back. And if you had ink to match, you could plop it right in there. All you got to do is just like eyedropper it right in there, which I thought that was really cool because I know a lot of us have, um, you know, inks for different applications. We have like dye-based inks for, um, you know, mixed media projects and things like that. I wouldn't use the liquid watercolors that are like the pigment-based ones, such as the um, the Dr. P.H. Martin Hydrus, but you could use a Dr. P.H. Martin Radiance. Um, you could use uh, any sort of like, like a liquid watercolor, like Blick liquid watercolor, something like that. You just need to, you know, mix up the color to match or, 24 of these colors actually match the Color It refills, which I was really thrilled about these. When these came out, you might remember the review, I was so excited when I saw that that there was a refillable real brush marker. There were only 24 colors, but since these types of markers blend really well, that was pretty great. And these are the same body. You'll see, let's see, this is number um, C19, and this is just number 19. They're both lilac. Uh, this one's called Lovely Lilac. This one's just called Lilac. The body is exactly the same. They just, they're just a different color. So I was really thrilled about that because I'm really into products that are refillable, products that are easy to refill. Like I always say, well, you could essentially refill anything you want if you want to take the time to, you know, pry it apart and whatnot. But these, the ends actually unscrew. And then the other cool thing I noticed when I was looking at these, I'm like, hmm, they look so similar. So I went and looked at my color it markers and I um, looked at these markers and the numbers match up. So with the color it markers, it says C, like say it says C102, this one just says two, but it's the same color. And like C139, that matches 39. So you could definitely order a bottle of the ink to, um, to match it. Like this is uh, Proud Pale Green C142, which is that color or that color. Um, so these are $6. So instead of having to buy a whole new set for like, you know, $25, you could just buy that one refill bottle for $6 and refill it probably like, I don't know, 20, 15 or 20 times, which I think is real, I don't know exactly, maybe 10, 15, somewhere in there, depending on how juicy you like your marker. Um, I think that's a much better deal because you know there's gonna be, you know you're gonna use number 10 to blend out, um, you know, rose petals or to blend, you know, some of these neutral tones out to a highlight or something like that on skin tones. Um, you still need those, you know, those skin tone colors, blending them out, um, greens for leaves, stuff like that. So there's going to be colors you're always going to be running out of, so you might as well get the ink. I will link all these products that I'm mentioning in the video description because I just think it's it's really neat. The um, the Ohuhu markers are less expensive than the color up markers. These are about 25 bucks for 36 colors. This is $30 for 24 colors. You get a lovely case though. Um, so that's really nice. And they do have, there are refills for every one of the markers in this color it set. So it's just something to think of. The uh, refills are $6 each, around $6 each, or there's like a 24 pack that I think is about 84 Four dollars somewhere in that ballpark so it's a little bit cheaper if you want all the colors um, just something to consider or you know if you're a brave soul you can always mix up your own inks and refill it or and even if you don't get it exactly right you can still easily reuse a marker because the thing about these markers by the way this is the pad that comes with so the Uhuhu markers also come with a watercolor pad 12 sheets and it's actually fairly decent I mean it's not the best paper in the world but it, it does a trick 
which is really nice. And it comes with a water brush. I haven't filled that one with water because I had this pack of water brushes that already had um, had color in them. But um, but you know they do the trick. Let's see. Let's take a nice a nice green. Let's do let's do this kind of sappy green color. This is called dark olive green, number thirty seven. And then we can actually get let's get number forty one. I can get 42 as well. I like this because you can blend colors together. So if I wanted to start off with say this dark, this dark green, then you can actually blend it out with the lighter colors and it doesn't harm your marker. Like, you know, it might not be great to do that with a felt tip marker because it might stain, but this you could just keep going till you run out of that color. And then you could go in with a lighter color. And blend it out. Let's see, that's 42. I always find the lighter colors feel kind of dry. I can show you how, to, how I'd refill that too, uh, if you like. And then if you want it to be blended even more, you could just go in with the water brush and look how well it blends out. I mean, I think that's really... I think that's really fun. I think that's really cool. And I just love that it's uh, refillable. So like I mentioned, I find that this really doesn't need to be refilled because it's brand new, but I always find the lighter colors to feel a little bit drier. I'm not gonna put a lot in here because I don't wanna overfill it, but you just take off the back. I'm just gonna give it a, a shake. It shouldn't have any sediment in it, but just in case. And then you can just drop, probably not over like your artwork, if you've got artwork there, just put a few drops in. Try to hit that pad. Can you see that? Try to hit that pad. There's like a felt pad in the middle. It's kind of tricky. I think I'm hitting around it. But, you know, put a couple drops in there and um, then screw the back on. I think that's so cool. It's such a, it's such a neat little discovery because they don't market these as refillable. They probably don't want to get in the refill ink game. Um, I think that that's kind of where companies... That's where a lot of the cost is for companies making refills. Um, I think that's why Copic markers are so expensive is because they've got to manufacture, house, and keep those refills on hand even if they rarely sell, whereas uh, like new markers are an easier sell. So that's just that's just my opinion, but I think that's probably why that your um, why your refillable markers tend to be more expensive. Oh yeah, I can tell it's already it's juicier from just from that little refill. Uh, but yeah, I thought that was a really neat find. Uh, I do have a little just a little sketch I did yesterday with these markers. They work as well as any other markers. Um, I just love the fact that they are easier to refill than other brands. I just did this. I find that the colors blend pretty well. I didn't have a staining issue. Now you can see. I mean, if I was to let the the ink sit for a bit and then try to like re-wet it, it would be a little more difficult. Like, look at that. You can see that kind of stained. Um, reds are kind of notorious, reds and purples. I swatched and blended, swatched and blended for all of these. Um, and I didn't have any issues, but if like you let the, the red sit for a bit or, you know, any of these colors sit for a bit and then you went over them with the water, you will, you will probably have a better chance of them staining and not blending out really well. But, um, I think these are a great buy. I don't know if they're going to come out with refills. I would think that, like, I would think a body like this would be more expensive than their old brush marker body. So, you know, maybe when these get more sales and more popular, they'll come out with refills. I noticed that a lot of companies do that. They'll start off by selling packs only. And then, like, after they sell so many packs, they'll start coming out with individual markers or um, refills because I think they need to get so many people owning the full set before people will start buying individuals. Um, you know, because people, they try, I think they try to time it for when people would start running out and needing replacements and they'll start selling replacements. Uh, but a lot of companies don't sell refills. So, uh, I really like the color it products. Don't get, don't get me wrong. I would recommend them equally. It's just, that these are a little bit better of a value and you get more colors. And if you're brave and you want to mix inks or you want to like, if you have a bunch of inks, water-based, dye-based inks from other projects, and you want to be able to refill them easily, then I think that's a great deal. Cause I'll show you what a typical, um, what a typical brush pen looks like here, a non-refillable. I grab a couple of them actually and show you. I'll get a couple of different brands. So they typically have, um, like this is the kind of the one that started the whole trend was the Zig clean color. And you could, I'll show you the tip difference here. The Zigs have the smallest tips of any um, water brace markers that I'm aware of. Good grief. These are, okay, there's a, there's a con, getting these out of the containers a little bit tricky. 
So those tips are pretty small, but they're not as small as the Zigs. And then like the Artezas are pretty big. So there's, there's the Arteza to compare. The Arteza is pretty big. And this is a gen, genuine crafts. It's kind of about the same size, maybe a smidgen bigger than the Ohuhu. Uh, so, you know, you definitely can find something for everybody there. But look at, see these ends, those would be very difficult to pry off if you want to refill them. They don't want you to refill them. They want you to buy a new pen when you run out. Um, so, you know, it is what it is. But I like the fact that these are easy. Anybody can, can unscrew the end and put in whatever ink they like. If you're a rubber stamper, you might be able to use stamp pad ink. You'll probably need to dilute it a little bit because I think stamp pad ink is too thick. And you want to definitely make sure you're using a dye-based um, stamping ink, like say the stamping up refills or any of the like basic dye based ink, not any hybrid or pigment or anything like that that would clog your pens. Um, so I'm really happy. I, I like this. I prefer the real brush style type of pens, the pens that actually have bristles versus the felt tip ones for like sketching because it doesn't tear up the paper like a felt tip can if you're adding water and you're doing a lot of layers. These are just very gentle on the paper so they're very easy to work with, they're very easy to blend over stamped images and they're very easy to do um, just to do original sketching. So uh, those are the Uhuhu 36 set of, uh, they're called the Aqua Natural Brush Marker. They are brand new. They are the upgrade from their previous brush markers. I don't know if they're gonna keep both of them. Like they're gonna sell both of them. So you just wanna be careful, make sure you're getting the white barrel and make sure that um, that it's the Ahuhu Aqua Natural Brush Marker because it doesn't say it's refillable, uh, but it is, it certainly is. And the other one is called the Color It Markers and I will link them both so you can like, you can compare them for yourself and also link up the inks, both the set and the individuals, so that you can um, see what's available there. Color It's great. They're, great. they're a great company too. Um, I've had really great experiences with both of those companies, so I just want to let you... And they've both been sponsors in the past of my channel, so I also want to, um, want to disclose that just so you know, so that when you're shopping, you're like, well, Lindsay has a relationship with that company or Lindsay writes for their blog or, you know, yeah, I have a relationship with, I currently write for the Ahuhu blog um, and I, uh, Color has previously sponsored videos. So just want to get it out there uh, and let you know about that. But yeah, I thought that was really neat. I thought it was cool that all the colors in the Color It range come in, come in the Ohuhu set and um, equally, equal in quality, equally wonderful companies. Um, yeah, there you go. Uh, I believe both of these must be made in, well, let me, let me look here in case it's some different country. I was gonna say both are made in China, but I wouldn't say, that. yeah, made in China. I would say they both are because they're both too similar to say otherwise. Um, so yeah, something I thought was interesting. Uh, product recommendation, if you don't want to deal with paint brushes and you know, uh, you know, palettes and tubes of paint or cakes of paint and you just, you want to get that watercolor look or you want to do stamping and you want something easier to control. This are, these are a great option. I think they're a lot of fun. And I tend to mostly use them for rubber stamping. Um, I don't tend to do much freehand sketching with these because they're just so great for, I, I like to use paints and big brushes and whatnot, but um, they're definitely, they're definitely um, able to do that. So there you have it. These are the color it swatches. These are the Ahuhus. I, I I feel like I've informed you well. I hope so. Uh, so I just wanted to get that uh, another review in for World Watercolor Month, just for fun, in case it's something you're interested in. If not, well, you know something new now, don't you? Thanks for watching. Until next time, happy crafting.